I thought man, many times it could have been me, you know, and I tried to put him, put myself into that place. And, you know, and I thought maybe he, I would have not made it alive. You know, he did. Raj Singh still thinks back to the horrific events inside his Clemens store one night in October 2018 and thinks back in awe of his clerk, David Slater. He was working that night. It was his first day back from his cancer treatments. And uh, he was about to close our store. And when those guys walked in and, you know, uh, put a gun on him and, you know, told him, what to do, what not to do. The criminals zip tied the clerk, doused the building in diesel fuel, and lit it on fire. We spoke with Slater last year. The fire was everywhere. I told God it wasn't going to die today. Not today. And he gave me strength. Slater managed to escape the burning building, but the damage was done. From the ashes two years later stands a brand new building. Singh says he's holding a soft opening this weekend. His store clerk of 10 years won't be returning. It was very, very tough to come back, but I hope the community will be proud of us. Uh, you know, how we have built and how we have come back, and even though it took us time. He says the reopening of the Stop and Save Mart just wouldn't be possible without the support. The community had our back like no one else did. Back in June, one of the suspects, David Smith, was convicted of several crimes related to this case and sentenced to more than 25 years in prison.